Hey guys, what is going on? It is Bingsy here, and today I am bringing you the pack squad builder. Now, I mentioned this in yesterday's video. I was meant to do this yesterday, but EA was just playing up. Luckily enough for me, I've gone and won the tournament, and we've actually just sold something. So I'm waiting for things to sell, but as you can see, we've won the offline tournament to get this premium gold players pack. So we're going to open it, and what it is, I'm going to choose... My pad's actually disconnected. What timing? I'm going to choose three players from this pack, so it can be non-rare, anyone... Who are we getting this pack? Hopefully we get a footage winner. That would be amazing. I'm, I think they're still in packs. So that would be great if we could get one of them. But we don't. We get... We actually get Simon... Is that Simon Kier? I'm not too sure. We've actually got a great selection of players there. That's actually fantastic. I think we can upgrade as well. Is that... Yeah, we can get his team of the season if we want to. Get Shatov. I think he's got a team of the season. But I'm not too sure how long it's going to take for everything to sell. But just, this is the idea. So these three players here, I'm going to build a hybrid around. So... Let's do it. Why not? Let's uh, send all of them to the club. And we might as well send everyone to the club. So, yeah, we're going to build a hybrid around these three players. And let's just see how it goes. So, I'm going to build it in concept squads first. Just because everything's selling. And then, once everything's sold, I'll come back show you guys the team. And we'll get into one live game with the team. And if it's a good team or if I don't do well in the live game, I might go and get highlights. But I think it'd be a lot better... For me to do, you know, just live games and whatnot. So, first of all, let me just set that to gold. I'm not going to play in this formation. I mean, I mean, I might do, but I don't know. I might upgrade the cards. Um, I think I could do that. It's up to you guys, really. But I might put it on Twitter if you want me to upgrade the cards or not. So, we got Shatov, Torres, and then it was Simon Kier as well. So, I might upgrade the cards. It depends on how it goes. But this is going to be pretty interesting to do, actually. So... What formation do we go with is the real question. Now, we need one with wingers. So, we could go with like a 4-3-3-4 variation or even a 3 at the back. But I don't really want to go with that. So, we could go with this. But I feel I like use this formation way too much. And plus, there's not really any good left backs from Zenit now thinking about it. And it would be quite hard to get everyone on chemistry. That could work and have Axel Witzel at CDM. Uh, that could work. And then we'd have to put... I don't know, actually. It's going to be difficult. So, what I'm probably going to do is just go with the 4 3 2 one Because I feel I could get this to work quite easy. I'm probably going to regret saying that. But I'm going to go with this formation. Why not? I haven't used this formation. Actually, I used it earlier, so I'm lying about that. But I haven't used it for a squad builder, I'm pretty sure, in a while. I might have used it the other day. I'm really, I'm really forgetful, guys. So, let's just go right into it. It's sort of like an episode of the live squad builder. But it's like a challenge as well. And I've been recording my audio for three minutes. So, I'm going to try... This is just, this isn't like part of the challenge or anything, but I'm going to try and get this done in under 10 minutes. So, first things first, I'm probably going to get Inaki Williams, just because I feel he's probably like the best cheap Spanish left wing, uh, right wing, sorry, in the Liga BBVA. But if I'm missing out on anyone, I mean, is, we could go with Griezmann. I'm not sure how much that card is. We could go with Griezmann, but I'm, I'm really wanting to use Inaki Williams. So, here he is. I'm actually going to... Cersei, I haven't used him. Has he got... Oh, that could be interesting. But I think Inaki Williams is the right decision to go with. So that's them on full chem. And then obviously we can get Bernat here. And then everybody is on full chemistry. We might need to get a right back. But I don't mind that too much. And then Witsaw, I'm definitely going to get into the team. And I think it's actually uh, Des Desgov. I can't pronounce his name. Um, he's a Russian league... What's it called? A Russian league. Plays for Zenit. And he is a uh, team of the season, I'm pretty sure. Let me actually check that. I might try and find a Belgium just so I don't have to use three team links. But let's actually find the Russian league. Here it is. And centre mids. Let me just go to midfielders. I always forget like it doesn't show you everyone. But this, where is it? There? Oh, it's not actually. That confuses me. But I thought it was for Zenit for some reason. Left back, I forgot about him. Into uh, Hero Iron Man Lamatch, what they called it. Uh, Legend Iron Man Lamatch, sorry. Um, I'm probably going to go... Oh, Garcia's there. Let's actually just check to see if there is any Belgium centre mids. I really highly doubt it, yeah. Does Axel Witzel... He's going to need the link either way. Hmm, let's actually just go with Zenit midfielders and see who there is. Let's actually just check. So, I've gone the wrong way around. But midfielders, let's check who we can go with. See, I'd like to go with Danny and play him in the centre. Which, he's a great card, actually, thinking about it. He is actually an, a, cra a crazy, incredible card. Garcia. 
wow, like, I could go with him. And that would be really easy to link to the Spanish as well. And in that way, Naki Williams doesn't need another link. And if we get a perfect link, I'm trying to think of perfect links. Hernanez and... He gets three dead links, so we'd need a Brazilian. But I'm actually going to try this. If we go with... Alright, so my camera just, like, basically quite out there. I don't know what's happening with it. But if we go with Garcia here, and then we get... I think I've already got him as an untradeable in my club as well. Hernanez. Who I really wanted to win. Which one is it? Oh, I've already got him in the team. Um, I really wanted him to win the 40s. He just should have won. So we go with Hernanez there. And then we go with Danny Alvarez. I'm not sure how much this card is. His transfer card. I can't imagine it being over 20k. But we'll go with that. Get the perfect link there. And now it all depends. Turkish League. Is there... Is there a Brazilian? Whereabouts is the Turkish League first? Let me actually find that. So here it is. Is there a Brazilian centre-back? If there is, we're set. Marcelo, that's brilliant. That's perfect. Yeah. Let's go with him. Now, it might be hard to get him on. Actually, it shouldn't be too hard. Here, we can go with the left-back and the goalkeeper. So, yeah, that's pretty much the team done. And we've only been recording, well, the actual squad builder for around three minutes. So if I go left-back... I don't need to go Brazil. Adriano, I didn't know he was there. Tellas as well. Yeah, let's just go left backs. And we can get Erkin there. I mean, we don't really need to go with Erkin. I'm not sure if there's any Belgians. Uh, Belgium. Sorry, guys. I've got a really itchy nose today. I've got a hay fever. Um, I, might, I might go with Muslera and Goy. He's actually a phenomenal goalkeeper. But I'll see everyone on full camp anyway. Let me check how much this team of the season is. I'm pretty sure it's a team of the season anyway. See, just because I don't know how many coins I've got, I'm probably... Like, that card looks good, but Muslera for me is absolutely brilliant. I've used him a few times. So, I'm going to go with Muslera in goal. This team could be quite cheap, and it actually looks quite good. We've got a good selection of players from the pack. So, there. Everything's there. Yeah, that is the team done, guys. So, there is the squad. I'll go and build it now. Not in concept squads. I'll actually build the team. Then, we'll jump into a live game with the team. See how it performs, but this challenge has gone perfect, guys. So I'll be back in a second when the team is fully built. So I've gone and built the team. As you can see, here is how it looks. And I'm not sure how much it costs, so I'll put it on screen now. And this team, I'm assuming, is pretty cheap. The only expensive player in the team was Danny Alves. He cost me around 12,000 coins. So I'm going to want a Spanish manager, preferably. I've got a few bronze Spanish managers, so I'll just chuck this one on here. And that gets Inaki Williams to 9 chemistry. And everyone is on... Yeah, everyone's on chemistry then. So everyone's on 9 chem. So let's go and jump into a game with this team. I'm going to do the game live. Sorry if, if I'm looking like downwards. It's just because that's where my TV is. So we'll go into divisions. Why not? And I'm in division 4 because literally I haven't been playing. And I just decided not to work my way back up. Like I did it twice I think it was. Like I went from division 10 to division 6. Did that again, got back to Division 4, and I just pretty much gave up. So we'll jump into a Division 4 game, and let's see how this team performs. We have found a game. Let's see. This was a three-ball connection, so I'm hoping to get the connection's okay. And oh my god. That's a pretty incredible team. I can't lie. I can't take anything away from that. So this will be a true, te true test to see how good this team is. Suarez, Neymar, the Iron Man of the Match, Ramsey, who's actually really good. I've used him. Um, I did a live squad builder around him as well, thinking about it. Sergio Ramos and Koscielny at the back, so he's got good defence as well. It's going to be an interesting game. It should be a tough one. I've actually just remembered I forgot to do my player instructions, so it's going to be even harder. But let's get into this game, guys. All right, already I can tell the connection's not great. It's just lagged a little bit, so I'm hoping it doesn't doesn't put me off too much. And that was just terrible there. Let's get this with wits. Or let's. I see that run from Shatov there. Let's actually cut that back. Let's. Ah. This guy's got a good counter-attack on with Neymar. Oh, that's beautiful defending Marcelo. He's picked it straight back up, though. And he's got it again. Marcelo is a beast. I had to get his regular card because his inform was going for, like, 34k. I think it's been price-fixed. Ah, uh, Shatov versus Bellerin. Bellerin's got the win, but we can take it round him. Let's see. Can we play Torres in? Ah, uh, he's not got the pace. That's something I'm worried about with Torres. I know that he's really overpowered because I came up against him a few times and he's destroyed me. But he's just not got the pace. Inaki Williams has though. Oh, that was a terrible pass. I've got to say Marcelo's an absolutely incredible defender. It's just, it lets the ball go way too easily, which is quite annoying. I've got Garcia here. The lag there. 
See, things like that, there's nothing you can do about it. When the game lags, oh, what is that whistle? When the game lags and you literally just can't do anything about it, it's so annoying. Alright, I see Torres here. I see Naki Williams making the run. Let's stop. Ah, that was just terrible from me. Oh, he's turned me there with Neymar. Hopefully he doesn't get the break on. Alright, I don't mind him cutting it in. As long as he's not running down the wings because we haven't got too much pace. He's done great though and he's managed to get the goal. 1-0 down in the game I feel I've been dominating. This guy's just been hitting me on the counter attack. It was a lovely goal but I feel we could win this. I don't feel he deserves the win. I feel like I should have put a chance in there but I'm just always too nervous to shoot. It's like I've noticed it in my games. I don't have a lot of shots. When I get into good positions, I try and get it so it's a guaranteed goal. Maybe we can work something from this free, free kick. Let's bring that short. That's actually just... It's Danny Alves. Let's get that into Shatov. Let's turn this. Let's go. Ah, he's just run past yet again. Got it with Anaki Williams. Let's turn. Hopefully the ref doesn't blow the whistle. He's blew the whistle. It's half time. We had a counter-attack going there. And this guy's been dominating. Well, I say dominating. He's only had two shots on target. I feel like I could have win... Up more, I just struggle, like, I just don't shoot when I should shoot, so I'm going to have a lot more shots this game, I've just passed it straight to him from kickoff, but it's actually worked out, we're running straight at him there, there's nothing we can do, let's see if we can, this guy, oh no, he's managed to get past me, he's played it, he shouldn't have played that, Axel Witzel, what was that, alright, let's get this rid, let's try and get a counter attack, I don't feel like I deserve to lose this game, the stats will say different, but I just need to start having shots, because I'm literally... Nah, not taking any shots at the minute and he's he's really good at defending. There's nothing I can do. Oh. So guys at this point my Elgato corrupted. I'll show you the rest of the game. I'm not sure where it picks up, but it does put my or my face cam out of sync with the actual footage. So that's probably why you're wondering why wasn't you celebrating that you scored? So that's why that's happening. So I really do apologize, but there's nothing I can do. I've tried everything to fix my Elgato and it's just corrupted for this clip. But hopefully you guys can look past it. Look at let's continue with the video. If the ball goes to a player and he shoots, how is that a free kick? This game is so fucked. Alright, I see Anaki Williams. Let's play this out wide to him. Ah, Marcelo's done well. Hernandez has picked it up. I'm pretty sure Hernandez needed fitness. Alright, he's slid in. No reason there. Hernandez is still on the ball. Ah, I shouldn't have finessed that. I should have just smashed that in, but... It's not a bad attempt. We've, started, we've definitely picked it up in this second half. Marcelo's dove in early. I see that run there, but it's Javi Garcia. He's not got the pace. I might try and sweat this across. Oh, is that a pen? That's a penalty. We've earned a penalty. All right. Let's take a look at these. So as you can see, from the possession and the shots on target especially as well, I feel I could have come away with a win. I feel I should have come away with a win. But... Obviously, not everything works out. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. If you did enjoy me doing the live commentary over the game and you want me to start doing this in more of my videos, let me know in the comments. I've quite enjoyed this. It should be quite easy to edit as well. So, uh, yeah, let's let's see how this video turns out. But hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. If you have any video suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, make sure you all have an absolutely incredible day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And peace.